What is up you guys? Today is day 24 for stocking something in my pantry. So today I went to the Amish and I got, okay, so I got 25 pounds of the whole, I got the wrong one you guys. And I now just realized I got the wrong one. I wanted um, the einkorn flour and I got whole wheat flour. It was right next to the einkorn flour. But that's okay, I'll use it nonetheless. I got 50 pounds of whole wheat flour here. I went with my dad and he got some steel cut oats and then gave me some as well. I don't know how many pounds I got here. No clue. Got some salt. Got six pounds of salt for $2.49. Then I got 10 pounds of navy beans for $9.25. And I got some spices again. Um, I got onion powder, one pound for $5.99. Then cinnamon for, uh, it's a one pound of cinnamon for $4.75. We use so much cinnamon, especially here in the warmer season, uh, the colder seasons. We um, use it like cinnamon and honey and milk. Um, we'll do like a lot more cinnamon rolls because we do more chili and I am from Nebraska. My husband thinks I am gross, but I dip my cinnamon rolls in my chili. So I like the chili with the cinnamon roll. Anyways, um, we just use a lot of cinnamon. We have other ingredient recipes. I just honestly cannot think of them to save my life. But cinnamon and honey milk is usually twice a day. I got paprika, Spanish paprika for $4.99. It's almost a pound, not quite. Like, just shy of a pound. Let's see, I got cumin, like a, a little under a pound for $6.25. 12 ounces to exact for both of those. Chili powder. One pound for five forty-five. Basil, uh, five ounces for two ninety-nine. I got a, a gallon of maple syrup. I also got this whole box full of apples that my dad got me. He's so sweet. I got some red apples on the bottom and then some green ones how pretty those are and these came not too far from us like 15 minutes from our house ish Look how big that apple is these green ones are huge massive the red ones are big too just not as big one bushel of apples equals 42 pounds or about 120 medium apples this might be a bushel I don't know, do you think this is about 48 pounds? I'd say that's about 48 pounds. Probably. Okay. I got a bushel yeah. of apples. It felt like five <laughs> pounds though. <laughs> oh my goodness, wonder if I can't see it. Filthy. Okay, so I don't know if this is a bushel, but it seems like a bushel. Okay. We don't know our bushels yet. Bushel esque. <laughs> Anyways, this is all I did today was I went shopping. And yeah, pretty much. We we'll packed these away tonight, but I'm not going to. It's like 8 30 tonight. And I'm trying to work on time management. I'm not good at that. Am I love? I'm not good at time management. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, showing you part of it. I'm also going to probably be doing baking and putting things in my freezer for the pantry stock. Because like, if, if you really think about it, your freezer is a part of your pantry, just not dry pantry. And I need to do both. Because um, breakfasts are really hard for us in this house because I don't like cooking first thing in the morning. So I'll probably do some breakfasts put in there. Um, cook some bread put it in there as well because we go through bread so fast probably be doing like a lot of baking like muffins and stuff like that for the breakfasts 
Um, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas or thoughts of things that you might want to see, let me know. Because Oh, tortillas is a big one. I'll make tortillas and then put them in the freezer because we like tacos. <laughs> and I don't like making tortillas every week. Like, it just... I'm not the greatest at it, and so I'm trying to learn. Can't make them thin enough, and so then I think, I think that's the problem, where they get too thin, I mean, they get too fat, and they don't wanna like bend as easily. So I don't know, you let me know on that, if any of you are tortilla makers. I've been making tortillas for about a year, and I still can't figure what I'm doing out. What, can't figure out what I'm doing wrong in order to keep my tortillas really nice. Anyway, so they the tortillas are amazing as soon as they come off of the cast iron and then they're not. It's just horrible. Like, they tear really easily. Um, I think I'm also gonna be starting to try and make some more sodas. That cream soda actually turned out amazing whenever it's, I think it was like, 10 days I think was how long it finally went and I really enjoyed that cream soda. But I think I wanna make some like root beer and I wanna make um, some like strawberry soda. Um, there were a few other sodas that I wanted to try. Oh, Coca-Cola I wanted to try. So I'm hoping to try some of those too in this process. I wanna dehydrate more. Just let me know what you guys have ideas for because I also ADHD person here stocking my pantry. I love canning, but I'm getting overwhelmed and bored. <laughs> so I need fun, new, exciting. A little bit of everything every week. Like I'm thinking dry pantry haul, dehydrating, um, canning. Um, and some of it, some of it is going to be more pantry hauls, especially for like my crushed tomatoes and my tomato sauces and stuff. This is just how I'm viewing it. I'd rather buy the can that's already done right now because I don't have the best tomatoes and most of the tomatoes are gone in this. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy those instead of buying terrible tomatoes, doing all of that work when it's way cheaper to just do the can already because those are already the exact same tomatoes. I just don't have to do the work. If I'm gonna do the work, I want good tomatoes. I don't know, but I will be doing that. Um, for stocking up and like, you know, more like fruits and stuff like that. So anyways, um, just, I don't know, fermenting. Give me some ideas, guys. All right. But I will catch you guys tomorrow and I hope you have a lovely night. Bye.